Okay guys, moving on from uh, the last time we did this, which was as an attacker. Um, we're doing this as a defender now. Um, remember what happened as an attacker? It was a tough hard fight because they had one great guy um, who was defending the crates tightly as he should. And um, it was a real massive problem to try and get the crates down, but we just about managed it to get all the way there. So this is us um, doing it the other way around now as a defender. Um, it's only fair that I show both sides of the coin and how one good guy carrying a team fares attacking and one good guy fares defending. So this is how it kind of works out for us. Um, I get in a tank straight away and head up onto this hill because this is something I used to always love doing. It was um, just epic doing this on Bad Company 1. It doesn't quite work as well um, and I put the wrong upgrade again. I meant to have uh, vision optics but I got warheads instead which is still, it's alright. I mean, I can work with that. So that's what I do. I come up onto my hill here and it's got a good field of fire across the valley. And uh, as you can see here, um, I'm not the best shot in the world without vision optics, unfortunately. Um, I think I did actually manage to hit that guy once, but it gets a bit repaired again before I hit it again. And um, finally, the uh, another tank comes and flanks me while I'm having this little snipe match with this guy. Um, but there we go, that was the hit markers there. So. I would have managed to beat him probably um, if I had vision optics, but unfortunately <laughs> I don't. Um, wrong upgrade there, I guess. That's my bad. It's funny that I uh, I can't really shoot straight without vision optics. Um, vision optics helps me a lot at range, but when it comes to things like sniping, I I can't stand the 12 times scope. It's got to be eight or four at least. It, I can't do the 12 times. So it's weird that it works out like that, but it's just the way it is. And um, there's a double team going on and. Uh, I managed to get a shot in it and I managed to spot it, which I always do, so it's going to go down and there it goes, so <laughs> squad assist, that was Benzilla. So uh, I managed to change my uh, optics in case I get in a tank again, although it doesn't really matter because um, I don't think I set foot in a tank, I just stay up here on the hill and see what I can do about anti-armor from this uh, vantage point up here. Uh, I turn around and uh, the jungle comes alive and kills him, like Predator, so that was a bit scary. And they got a whole team of snipers up on the hill, and uh, that is not something I'm going to allow. Not really much as, um, it's not that great a strategic point. I mean, it's a bit annoying having snipers up there. Um, but I'm just going up there because I'm a bit annoyed that they're that close to our base. We've got snipers and stuff, so I might as well go up there and claim some of their tickets, because that's what you do as a defender. Um, I know it's quite a long way from the crate, but I'm going to make an exception for these snipers because they're a bit annoying. So I use their kit to motion sensor them out, make sure that they're, uh, I'm going to clear this hill thoroughly, so that's what the motion sensor was for, so I switched to their kit. And um, as you can see from up here on the hill, you still get a great vantage point for uh, shooting tanks, so that's always good. Now, motion sensor ran out there, which sucks, because now the snipers are back. Um, I killed a sniper there. And um, we got a fast mover, zooming on past. I don't know why I fired the 84, there was really no chance that I was going to catch that thing. Um, we got a cab there, I'm looking around, I'm getting shot in the back. And there's another team of snipers, I'm just, I'm blown away that they've still got snipers on this, <laughs> on this hill. Uh, to be fair, they probably just arrived again, but, you know. Um, they say insanity is doing the same thing twice, expecting a different result. Plus, those snipers have just done. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go back up there and clear them out again and defend the base as I should. So, we go. There's one. I know there's more up there, so I'm going to take this guy's kit, do what I did last time. And, uh, oh, I'll kill that guy. I'm going to take this guy's kit, do what I did last time, and, uh, just be a bit more thorough in my search. So here we go. Another look. Um, I should have probably picked. Uh... Oh, actually, no. Um, it's difficult because usually what I used to do on this game um, on Bad Company One is use landmines and mine the edge around there. But um, I think you can drive tanks up that hill now. At least the cavs definitely there. Um, and I was kind of on this hill for the uh, 84 so that I could have a good field of fire from the base, so that's probably, I wasn't really thinking landmines at all, so I was thinking more like that. Um, of course, I've now hit that tank, so it knows I'm here, and uh, there's no <laughs> no guesses for uh, who's in there. So he uh, instantly saw the threat was coming from and took me down, 
Now he's motion centering out with the G3 and C4, and he's right next to a vulnerable crate that could be taken down. And yeah, uh, it's that guy again who's really good, so um, it's time to make a beeline for that crate and just try and defend it as best we can. I'm amazed it hasn't been armed or C4 would or anything, but uh, here we are. I'm just checking because I know the guys around here somewhere. I've got a UAV messing around there. I do not want to get spotted while that guy's in the area. And here we get a really annoying sequence. Like I'm trying to pick up this kit so I can motion sensor out and even the score. Um, I think UAV did that, but the damn thing is so slow. Can I pick it up there? And uh, I almost died there. Um, I would have been on this crate and ready to kill whoever killed the crate there. Um, it's really annoying that that sniper kit wasn't in my hands. Throw motion sensors and switch back that quick. There was this really annoying little sequence of me trying to pick up a kit that wouldn't want to get picked up. It was really annoying. Um, a is even more important than B, so I was desperately trying to get in there. Um, I know I was being shot. I tried to get in a tank. It didn't quite work to plan. And uh, I got hit by a Gratch, I think. So. Unless our team can go and disarm some crates like they should, um, A is in big trouble. Well, spawning back here is not a good sign. Usually the game, it tries to not let you get spawn camp, so it will try and spawn you away from where um, enemies are. So um, if you spawn a long way from the crate, it means there's lots of enemies around the crate. So that's not a good sign. And, um, fail to disarm the crate, so uh, now we've got to defend the second base. So we've lost the first base and it's time to move on to the second. Um, I'm seeing if there's anything I can steal and try and get out of here. So that's what I'm doing. We get a sequence here with the uh, the guy there who does something kind of strange there. He kind of went to cover and then I fired at him. Then I stopped and he came back out of cover. Um, if I had been anybody else like a, a level 12 or something like that who just sprays and sprays he would have moved back into fire and lost. So that really confused me that he did that. Um, did he Kind of, he, if I had been anybody else, he would have moved straight back out into and got shot in the face. But because it was me conserving ammo, he kind of did a, did a little dodge maneuver and killed me. So that kind of sucks. Um, more my bad luck than anything else, I think. And uh, he shot me really quick because it was that guy as well. So um, that probably would have been a draw otherwise. But oh well, um, he got me to the space quicker than walking, so that's good. I have no idea why I actually spawned on Benzilla back there, that was a bit stupid, I should have just spawned in the base. Um, I like walking I guess, I just like stroll in the countryside. Spotting some UAVs and uh, I really do like defending this base, especially when the, uh, the attackers keep up the pressure because it just feels so like desperate because it's, it's quite open but there's also this line of cover you've got in the front of the base here. And uh, when you get teammates hanging around here and you get like a pitched battle going on, it gets pretty damn cool. And um, I think that happens in a minute and it gets uh, I'll show you what happens. But at the moment we get this quiet time. Um, I can't really rush forward into the uh, into the fields over there because that would leave the crates undefended. So right now it's just me and Benzella in this base. It should be a hell of a lot more people. But it's not. And um, so we just got to deal with it. Sticking close to the stationary gun. I've got an 84. Benzilla's over on the other the uh, stationary, whatever it is, um, and they got people behind us already, so that sucks. Um, I'm really worried about where that fire's coming from, it's over by A, so I'm worried that A's going to get armed. So that's my main concern right now. And I spot the guy there, and um, he gets killed there. And there goes A, so, so I guessed right. And um, <laughs> I knew that there's uh, explosive boxes there, so I tried to do a little fire, it doesn't quite work. And uh, the Abrams tanks get me, um, up 50 again. We'd be him right on the uh, crate, but luckily Benzilla, I think, managed to take him out there. So uh, we managed to disarm the crate, and that was a nice raz, by the way, so thanks for that. And uh, so we disarm that. Um, give him a little taste of his medicine, being in the right spot at the right time, disarming stuff. So that's good. And, um, here I go to the stationary gun. 50 cal to try and get these guys but they're in a, a concrete shed and the 50 cal is not going to be penetrating that a concrete wall but luckily for me I got a rocket launcher and that made a hole and we uh, finished them off so it shows if you uh, mix your classes up I got the, the, uh, the 50 cal there to shoot people 
which is better than any assault rifle for shooting people. And I've got my upgraded AT4 to hit armor and cover. So it's a nice little combo going on there with stationary guns, like a, a sniper near the um, uh, tow missile over there is also not a bad choice because you can snipe people. And if you actually do need to do something important with your life as a sniper and try and actually help somebody, you've got a nice uh, set of anti-armor qualities in the, uh, the tow missile right next to you. So that's something to think about. And uh, I'm just going to stick by the cover here. And as you can see, we've got, um, as our guys have lost their lives in the fields, um, we've got more and more people defending the crate, which is good. That's what they're supposed to do. I'm really glad that they didn't get left behind and hid in some barn somewhere while it was just left to me and Benzilla to defend the crate. But luckily, um, they died and they're spawning here and staying here. So that's good. I don't know why I'm in this barn right now. Um, I think I just go straight back to over here where this line of cover is and try and hold the line against these guys. Um, I'm really... Um, Benzilla's on that side of the map there and I'm on this side of the uh, this line of cover looking forward there. Um, so my main concern is this flank that I'm looking at now. I see a landmine there. I don't know if that was a guy dropping it, but it's not. As you can see, um, as I mentioned in one of my comments earlier, um, the reticle disappears when you look at it there. So I was just checking that that wasn't someone being sneaky and putting a, an enemy landmine right by our tank spot. But it's ours, so it's cool. In case the, uh, that level 50 wants to come in with a tank with alternate weapon, because we've seen he likes to do that. And that's probably him right there, so... I'm standing cover. And I back away from the cover there, because I fired one rocket at the tank, and I know that rocket is, that tank is really good at shooting at threat. So I managed to put enough distance between me and the... Uh, the cover there, so if it fired back, I probably would have survived. So that's why I wasn't like hugging that wall. The tank somewhere around there. Okay, so it's good now. Um, I've got loads of people behind me, so I'm just checking this flank that we're not going to get flanked from this side. If we get shot in the bank, in the back, I should say, then I'm not really going to be that fast. I mean, I did my part. And Pencilla tries to take the tank, but unfortunately, he gets shut down. Rather than waste uh, X and 8 bullets, because it's not upgraded or anything, I might as well just go straight to the uh, the machine gun there, so I thought. Um, use the assets available to you, that's always what you do. So, that's good. Uh, we got a mortar strike coming in there, so I have to get off that. And um, spotting people, and as you can see there's a line of people behind me, and um, for some reason that tank took out my cover, and that pisses me off. It gives us even less like things to hide behind. And the tank's right next to us, so it'll suck if the other tank wants to shoot it because the splash damage is going to get us. Which I think happens coming up. Yep, there he goes. But I am the kit and I will try and repair this tank, which is doing its best to get in my way. I'm trying to get behind it so I don't get killed by the other tank. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I think the barn falls on it. Um, I don't know if that was a UAV or whatever. The UAV got a kill there. Destruction kill. I think. <laughs> If the barn killed the tank, that was pretty damn awesome. I throw a grenade at that guy, and I'm trying to jump around, trying to stall his shots. Doesn't quite work, but he died anyway. So, do I get rest here, or do I manage to spawn? I pref probably prefer to spawn with full rockets right now. Benzilla's actually trapped behind a tank right now, so I'm gonna drill that to get away from him. There he goes. It's gone. Um, do I die here? I think I do. Yeah. Level 15 is tank again without weapon. Um, he doesn't play such a critical role now because we've got enough AT4s to stop him. So uh, let's get to cover, hope I don't die again. And we've got a tank there as well. That was the main problem with attacking, is that our tanks were just not being in there enough. But seeing as the tanks spawn right by the crate, which is where they need to be, they're kind of where they need to be straight away. So that was a deciding role, I think, because now that tank's having to uh, engage our tank, and um, we have, obviously, our 84s can support our tank, and even a level 50, who's obviously really good, is going to be drawing with a uh, another tank when we have 84 of support like that, and uh, we're getting rest all over the place as well. We're really worried about being flanked, so I'm just going to come over here, make sure we're not getting flanked. Um, there are 12 tickets, I think. So. Yeah, like it's a case of just spotting, holding the line. And uh, <laughs> 84 is going for that guy. I almost got him, I think. But I did spot him, so he's probably not going to be lasting very long. There he goes. He's dead. 
And that's always, that's always why I spot. I mean, I don't usually get very many points or kills, but I always try and spot whenever I do it. One, because spotting makes it easier to shoot like that. Two, if you die, then Simon's probably going to die as well, so that's cool. Is that, is that seven tickets or two? Um, that looked like it flipped there, but it's obviously not repairable. Oh, it's down to five, so it must have been seven tickets. More tank. Um, I almost got. <laughs> I almost died then from the tank missing the other tank. But luckily, I managed to just about survive. And we'll be repairing this tank to give it an advantage over the other tank, or at least draw even if it's a clever tank that we're fighting. And now oh, it's dead. Okay, never mind. Just repair a tank if you see it's damaged. And I believe this is it. I think. Oh, he did. I was waiting for my drill to not overheat, but unfortunately, uh, the other tank drove off, so whatever. Um, don't move and shoot like I was moving there, because you can see I didn't even get hit markers there, because it was, I was moving while shooting. And now uh, we held them out, so they only got to the second base that time. So that's a pretty cool GG, and uh, um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.